All right. So I got to the point where the babies are, I don't have to potty them. And then I go out and get new ones. So it's my own fault that I'm going to be exhausted. All right. So I'm going to pull them out one at a time. Babies were just brought in by themselves. No mom. Oh, we got a little ginger boy with a little white feet. A little ginger tuxy face, paws, white belly. And you are a boy. Look at you! Alright, let's get a wait. These guys are not too tiny. 10.4 ounces. Not too tiny. They actually look about three weeks old to me. I'm going to offer them a bottle, but they probably are not going to take it this early. Alright, they're pretty, they're kind of dirty. Um, they have some eye stuff going on, so I'm going to put some eye ointment in their eyes. They got cleaned up at the shelter, but I don't have any background on them. I don't know. Of course, we often don't know what happens to their mom. Bigger than Indy. You're bigger than Indy. Yeah, yeah, they're not as tiny as I thought they'd be. So we'll, we're gonna say three weeks old. Let me see your mouth. Is. Yep, just got the incisors right there about to poke through. So they're just about three weeks old. All right, I'll put you in here, which means they're not going to be in this incubator for very long. We'll start off here and then. I'll probably move them over to my bedroom into a playpen while they're still in quarantine. Are you like a little mudsy? Oh no, you're like your own little thing. You're pretty floofy. You're pretty floofy. Look at this little baby. Oh, and you are a you look like a boy, maybe. I think this is a boy. Yeah, you look like a little Sherlock. He's got half a scarf, too. So, I would say they are bigger than I thought they were going to be. But 
but not too much. It's a potty party over there. There's three of them in the litter box. Another little tabby. Another little scarfed tabby. Now that's a Sherlock. They got some, they got some floof to them. And you are a boy. Let's see if you want any bottle. Nope. Nope. Not into it. That's okay. I need to put more eye stuff on the wish list. All right. All right. Three. Three boys so far. Oh, dear. Guess what I just saw? I just saw Mama Dakota waving her butt in the air. Confirmed. She's in heat. Oh, I didn't get weights on the other ones. You guys are probably telling me that. And I'm not paying attention to chat. Get weights. I'll get weights on them in a minute. Look at this boy. Oh, he's very handsome. Oh boy, look at this boy. Oh, look, he's a model. Oh, oh, I guess he's a boy. I don't know. Are you a boy? Yeah, you are a boy. Wow. He's very unique looking. He's very noisy too. Okay, let's get away from him. He is 8.5 ounces. I think he's a little one. He's very, he's very cool looking. He's definitely a different kind of ginger that than we've ever had. Very cool. All right. All right. Let's get away on. This is I don't know if this is number one or number two. 10.3 ounces on this one. And then this one is 9.6 ounces. Okay, so there's one that has This one has a fluffier face. I don't tell the difference between these two. Why don't I tell the difference between you two?
more white on the face. Yeah. This one has one has it goes higher up on his forehead, but that's pretty subtle. They're gonna be a little tougher to tell apart. Yeah. Yeah, that triangle. It's a little longer on one of them, but that's gonna be hard to tell them apart on cam. So this will be the only girl, and that's what the shelter had said, is four boys and a girl. So we confirmed. Oh, she's got a little splash of black bangs. Oh, look at you. All right, she is 8.3 ounces, a little peanut. Give me the peanut. Doesn't want that. on everybody they all seem very active alert nobody's lethargic um, nobody's grossly underweight we got uh, three pretty good chunky babies and one kind of, I mean, and two that are a little smaller, but nothing, um, egregious. good crew I think they seem they seem uh, to start off on the right foot here their eye infections is really the only thing that's that seems like um, sickly about them No, so when you when you first get bottle babies, it depends how long they've been without their mom. And this is just something to know in case you ever foster is that um, I would say eight times out of ten, they won't take the first bottle. They're they're used to a mom cat. They don't know what this nipple thing is and they're just not hungry enough to eat. You know, they've had a meal with their mom, um, you know, a recent enough that they're just not that they're not hungry enough. So what happens is like over the next 24 hours or so, they just start to get hungry and instinct kicks in and they'll just start suckling at anything that, you know, remotely resembles a nipple. So, um, Here's Dakota. Well, she stopped now, but she was just waving her butt around. It's official. This girl is in heat. She laid down and was dancing that little tush. Um, so yeah, so it's not alarming or anything that, sh that they haven't, that they don't eat right away. I don't ever expect it to, but I just keep offering it, um, 
you know, a lot of times I'll just do like little 